Hey guys, this is UX Roping Gaming, and today we are playing this game for the present. So, I, I said that I won't be able to play games. I won't be able to play games if I don't have headphones. Only for the, only for the telltale. Um, I won't be able to play telltale. Also, I'm eating Reese's Cup of Halloween. But, funny way, let's just get started. Oh, you. You're free to go. <laughs> Not really, but you've got a package. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> See you around. Free to go. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah. Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored van, but generally spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Hmm. What? Evidence? A disguising bag? Wonder what I'm just gonna say. How exactly does this prove anything? Well, I... <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me... This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman... Oh, are you serious? I was guilty? Really? Oh. Take that! Is... is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did we tie the knot from the outside of the bag? What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! What? <laughs> As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious! Th this is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot and the witness thought everything was over. But it's coming back to haunt him now. You guys can't, you can't, this can't be happening to me! Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman, Oh, 
Crowbar? Um, don't fall. Uh, oh! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, come on, why can't you just run? You were freaking pleaded not guilty, goddammit! Well, that was a different ending. Come on, why can't you freaking... <sighs> Retry from the freaking start. Okay, this would be the last ending, apparently. Okay, but if this is only one by a Hmm? What? Oh. Oh, freaking really? Come on. Okay, a file? Ah. A window. Hopefully this shit works out. Uh, oh, really? Okay, <laughs> 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 then do the cell. See how that works. Hmm? Oh, no. You're freaking... You just... You don't freaking die from that click. Click! Ooh. Click! Ty. Hey, he's escaping. Oh no. I don't know. Huh? Share. Freaking king. 
take a freaking educated guess. No, no. Hmm. Uh, a parachute! Symptoms are showing. I know the freaking symptoms, you assholes. A teleporter. Hmm. Ready? Fire! Oh, oh man. God damn it! Okay, a file. Ah. Oh yeah, I already did that. Okay, now let's just die. Well, I guess that's you at Swolf and Gaming 